Hey you, down here. Yeah, yeah you. Have we got a good one for you today folks. You're in for a treat. Today, I team up with the legendary, the always entertaining Bivsky of Bivsky at uh, twitch.tv slash Bivsky to bring you a real template. Not one of my just me ranting for 30 minutes about how I'm the greatest templates, but this is a real deal template with a ton of great information. So let's go check it out. and I play and stream Ultima Online on Outlands. Outlands is one of the highest populated global Euro servers and is free to play. There's a link to the Outlands website in this video's description, as well as a link to my stream. Feel free to contact me on Outlands Discord for any questions. You strike your enemies with heavy blows as you drip with sweat from the weight of your armor. Magic and song are not your way. Absent of trickery, you are the legendary warrior. Today's build is credited to Derek, who has more achievements than Tiger Woods. Derek has used this template not only to touch on all forms of content, but to smash it out of the park, boasting the completion of more achievements than any other player. The legendary Dexa is a sword and shield wielding warrior in the purest sense. Without spells or music, the warrior has a large kit of defensive skills and abilities to sustain in the field. I have also included variations of this template which Derek uses for all forms of resource gathering. The pros of this build. This build is a perfect starter for new players on Outlands. It is also possibly one of the cheapest and easiest templates to create and level. This warrior boasts having a huge tank including defensive abilities such as Disarm and Hamstring. Not only is it great in PvM, but it has the skill set to be competitive in PvP also. Being able to defend yourself in the field from players usually comes at a skill trade-off cost with other templates, but not here with the Warrior. To extend on this, it can do all forms of content well, from gold farming in dungeons, to bosses, PvP, and even resource gathering with some tweaks. The cons of this build. It has a medium damage output until high aspect levels are reached, so it requires some time investment. Healing. The only means of healing are with bandages and heal pots. At maximum dexterity, heal times with bandaging can take around 10 seconds, which can make it challenging during heavy incoming and ongoing damage. Lastly, it lacks the utility that Majuri can bring. In relation to this, you cannot cast Recall, which means you either need a good stock of Recall charges in your runebook, or alternatively, have another character yeah. get you around. Weapon Skill 100 Weapon Skill is entirely up to you, and I recommend checking the Outlands wiki to help make your choice. But just briefly, Swordsmanship has a bleed ability, Fencing has a cripple attack to increase hit chance on target, Mace Fighting has an armor reducing pierce attack, which is the most popular choice here. Archery has the ability to hinder targets. Tactics 100 This provides additional PVM damage. A high tier weapon bringing you above 100 tactics will increase damage on PvP targets as well. Arms Law 100 This provides increased chance to inflict special weapon attacks on PVM targets. You can use Disarm after level 80 on PVM targets to reduce incoming damage or completely disarm players in PvP for a short time. Tracking 100 While in hunting mode, tracking provides increased damage. Hunting mode can be used to seek out specific creatures to assist with society quests such as paragon kills. But most importantly, tracking allows you to sense incoming PKers, giving you the time to either flee or place yourself in a favourable fighting position. Healing 80 Bandage yourself to heal wounds in the field. Anatomy 80 Anatomy makes it possible to cure poisons with bandages. It also provides additional melee damage for both PvM and PvP. Since we have Anatomy, Arms Law and Tracking, the build also gains Hamstring ability, which is extremely valuable in PvP for reducing the stamina of, em of our enemies to zero for three seconds. Parry 60 Parry melee hits and spells with your shield or two-handed weapon. Please note, 
it's perfectly acceptable to borrow 20 skill points from Arms Law to put into parry instead. In fact, 80 parry is recommended until the aspect is at least tier 10. Resisting spells 100. Reduce spell damage taken with a chance to resist certain spells. Leveling this past 80 can be slow and expensive using an alt. Alternatively, I max resist by letting Vicars at Ice Fort cast spells on me. It was dangerous, fun, lucrative, and fast. The Miner, the Skinner, and the Lumberjack. If you have alts or echoes available, you can tweak this template to cover all gathering needs. The resource gathering templates on screen are designed for defending oneself or to escape when getting caught out in the field. They are also PVM ready. For the stats, we rock 100 STR and 100 DEX for maximum HP, swing speed and bandage speed. If you can afford the pots, it's nice to keep STR and greater magic resist chugged up in the field at all times. There are plenty of viable options in regards to armor aspect, a favorite being earth for its extra tankiness. This is also very affordable. Some other options are fire, blood, void, and air. As for the weapon aspect, all of the above are also suitable, with fire being amongst one of the favorites. Don't forget you can mix and match. The warrior's armor is more important than any other template. Anything from bone to plate will be ideal, and the choice will depend on a couple of things. The heavier you go in armor, the more vulnerable you'll be to PK mind blast attacks. Mind Blast will do more damage based on meditation penalty from armor. So Bone Armor with Buckler Shield provides a low meditation penalty while still providing sufficient dungeon survivability given that aspect is at least tier 10. Preparation is key. Before I set out into the field, I take the following items with me. Armor, weapon and shield of choice. 5 to 15 of each relevant pot. Bandages. 6 trapped pouches for PK para stuns. Adventurer's Rope, and a Skinning Knife for easy looting. Bind all Alchemy Pots to Keys. Bind a Bandage Self Hotkey. Weapon and Shield Equip, followed by Attack Last Combatant. Bind a Key to Disarm under Special Moves in the Hotkeys tab. For targeting red players, bind a Key to Next Murderer Humanoid Target. For targeting grey players, bind a Key to Next Grey Humanoid Target. Bind a key to stun under special moves in the hotkeys tab for hamstring ability. Bind a macro that uses adventurer's rope. Bind a macro that uses the skinning knife and target self for easy corpse looting. So there you have the warrior template. It is a true warrior in the purest sense, since you won't be fighting incapacitated enemies using soul, nor pets, nor summons to soak damage. As a warrior, it's all you and brute force. You can complete any content you wish with this template as long as you get in close. It's even PvP ready and can be adjusted for resource gathering. Become a true warrior like the man, the myth and the legend. I just want to say thank you to Derek for being willing to share information with us on this template. Your passion for the warrior really inspires people to try something outside of the norm. Also thanks to all my supporters on Twitch TV and for Trammy Surprise for putting this video together. If you haven't already, Check out his absolutely hilarious and informative videos and throw the dude a free sub to get notifications on new videos. And I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to Biffski at twitch.tv slash Biffski. See ya.